now moved to the Rugby World Cup Hucker. Please welcome the Prime Minister of New Zealand, the Right Honourable John Key, and the Chairman of the International Rugby Board, Bernard Lapasse. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Rugby World Cup 2011. Over the next six weeks, New Zealand is going to play host to the 20 best rugby teams in the world as they vie for the most coveted trophy in rugby, the Webb Ellis Trophy. Can I take this opportunity to thank uh, the Chairman of the IRB, Bernard Lapasse, for the great work that he has done and the cooperation that's taken place between the New Zealand Rugby Football Union and, of course, Rugby World Cup 2011. During the course of this event, New Zealand will play host to around about 100,000 people from overseas. So can we welcome you all to New Zealand and enjoy the very finest we have on display. And to all New Zealanders, can I say how proud of you I am. Enjoy the Cup. This is your Rugby World Cup. I know you're going to be tremendous hosts to those 100,000 tourists. And to most of all, have a great night, enjoy the rugby, and go the mighty All Blacks! <clears throat> Prime Minister, the rugby family, participating teams, to everyone here and around the world, on behalf of the International Rugby Board, it is my great pleasure to extend you all a very warm welcome. New Zealand, New Zealand has dreamed for 24 years of welcoming back the world's greatest players to the world's greatest rugby stage. Tonight, that dream comes true. The great country and its wonderful people will be the most exceptional host of the tournament that New Zealanders and rugby fans alike will be proud of. Our thanks go to Rugby New Zealand 2011, the New Zealand Rugby Union, and the New Zealand Government for their vision, dedication, and hard work. Our special thanks go to the many volunteers. Without them, this magnificent event would not be possible. I would like, I would like to wish all of the teams the very best, and to everyone here and around the world, enjoy all that Rugby World Cup 2011 has to offer. And now, it's my honour and privilege to declare Rugby World Cup 2011 in New Zealand officially open.
Prime Minister John Key and Chairman of the International Rugby Board, Bernard Lapisse. Well, we were promised Ladies a night to remember, and it certainly is. Stand. Spectacular the opening ceremony. And now wait for the biggest pyrotechnic display this country has ever seen. And if the opening ceremony is anything to go by, this is going to be a truly unique Rugby World Cup and a magnificent Rugby World Cup for the whole nation to enjoy.